I was very happy when I found out they're going to be doing HD remasters of Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 and 2. Brought back a lot of memories, so I wanted to do another one of these video game memories discussing my youth time in playing Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 and 2. So, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 and 2, if I were to sum these games up into one word, and actually, Tony Hawk 3 also goes in there. Never got to play 4, but uh, these original three Tony Hawk games, if I were to sum them up into one word, that word would be fun. These games are so unique in that they're basically these sort of skateboarding games where you have these levels and you play the game and you unlock hidden areas by doing skateboard tricks. You have to fulfill these obligations, these missions in each level by doing tricks and discovering items and finding, you know, uh, you get to find little objects and things like that in the levels and you know, the more you get, the more you unlock the next level, the next level, the next level. And a lot of it has to do with how good you are also at skating and at doing tricks. So it takes sort of the X Games type of uh, thing and makes it just so much more fun. Kind of combining like a sports game with like an adventure game. That's essentially what this is. Tony Hawk Pro Skater, these games are one of a kind. They are one of a kind. I mean, when I was younger... Before Tony Hawk Pro Skater, we had this game called Skate or Die on Nintendo, and it just wasn't very good. Um, a lot of it's really hard to find a game like this where it's sort of like adventure and, and you know also sports. But Tony Hawk was like the first of its kind. Like I said, it's one of a kind. Um, I just have a lot of memories of first playing the game. The first time I actually played the game was on the N64. I rented it from Blockbuster. This is how long ago it was in the mid '90s, mid to late '90s. I'm not really sure what I was expecting, but the thing you have to understand is that when these games came out, this was right around the time when the X Games and like when Tony Hawk, the person, was starting to get really, really popular. He had this move called the 900, and I remember watching ESPN and seeing him do it, and there was this highlight reel they showed, and every time he did it, they were like, the 900! Like, they made it like a really big deal. I remember that vividly, and... uh you know, the X Games and like skating and things like that kind of became a thing. And I'm not really sure. I mean, that subculture has always existed. Those, you know, the the, the whole world of skating and skateboarding and, and doing tricks and things like that has always kind of been around. You know, I was always a big fan of Bam Margera and CKY. I grew up with that kind of stuff during my teen years. Uh, you know what I mean? And I loved, you know, just watching these guys skate. I was never good at it myself. I was deathly afraid to go on a skateboard because I busted my ass on skates, on rollerblades when I was a kid. So a skateboard was out of the question. But seeing those guys do it was a lot of fun. And I haven't watched like ESPN2 in a very, very long time. I really only watch ESPN for Sports Center and things of that nature. Don't really watch it for much else. Maybe basketball whenever it's on. Um, so I don't even know... Honestly, I don't even know if, if that culture... I mean, I know it's still around in the underground. There's skate parks everywhere all over the country. But I wonder if it's as big as it was then. I really, really don't know. Leave a comment down below and let me know. But when it comes to this game, I just remember playing the game and trying to figure out the mechanics of it all and then kind of figuring out what the game actually was. And um, I love how, you know, you go around doing tricks, you get money, and then if you grind on certain things, to un like if you jump in a certain place and jump high or whatever, you can unlock hidden areas of uh, the game. Like, for example, in the very first... Um, the very first, I guess, stage or whatever is when you're in that sort of hangar. And if you jump up and grind on the top of the, like, the one, the thing on the side, you open up like a new little area to get a secret tape, you know. And then they have, of course, the school, which has tons of places to grind. And you have to grind and get the, 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 the bells on the wall. Um, and the whole thing was kind of trying to figure out how to just become a better skater. This game, what I liked about this game is that the more you play the game, the better you get at it, the more you discover what to do. There are people in this, who play this game who are complete professionals at this. They're just amazing. But when you first start playing the game, you really aren't that good. You don't really know what to do. Don't really know how to combine your moves together to make combos, to uh, unlock like high points and high money and things like that. You know, you really don't know. But then as you play the game more and more, you start to learn kind of what the secret areas are, how to use the secret areas to get the correct points and what moves to use on there. And then you become better and better and better to where it becomes like a thing where you and your friends compete. And I remember when I got the game on PS1, because I had first rented it on C4, then later on I got it on PS1, Tony Hawk 1, then later Tony Hawk 2. We used to have a blast. 
I mean a blast playing this game. I mean, we would sit there and play horse, which is like two-player mode. Um, you know, who can get the best, who can do the best tricks and things like that. And, uh, you know, trying to figure out kind of how to use the stage correctly. Because every stage has has been set up in a certain way where you're supposed to do certain tricks in certain parts. And then, you know, do an ollie and then, you know, grind over to this area, that area. And the longer you can keep the momentum going, the better it is. But then, you know, you have to keep your balance and you might fall. And, you know, it's just... It was a fun game because it really just, it was more than a sports game. It lets you unlock areas and discover areas. And really, I feel like part of what made the game awesome was not just discovering the tricks and how to put them together, but also exploring the different stages. I mean, the more you explore the stages, the more you find things. And, you know, then also you have the little competitions, like the one in France where you have to get gold, you know, gold, silver, or bronze by doing tricks and not falling. You know, even in those stages, there are so many different, sort of combination areas and you have to figure out where they are and there's tons of youtube videos on it but it was so much fun back then before youtube to figure out what things what these things were um so having this game come back i think is a great thing i think it's going to be a lot of fun again with an hd remake um i'm definitely going to pick it up and once again kind of relive those fun times you know i've talked about this before but the playstation one has so many great games over on my twitch channel you gotta go over to my twitch which is twitch.tv slash big D geek them one one. I'll leave a link down in the description for you to check it out. You got to go there and follow me because I play tons of PS one games uh, at PS four games, SNES games, maybe some, some PSP games. I've been playing, you know, just old school gaming and some new school too. I recently beat final fantasy seven remake on this stream, even though PS PlayStation blocked it. Screw you square Enix for that. But either way, it's a fun time over on the Twitch screen stream streams. Twitch channel playing the games, you know, not even a big audience, but it's okay because it's more intimate, you know what I mean? So anyways, that is it. Thanks again for watching. Hope you have a great day. Let me know what your memories are of Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 and 2. We'll talk soon.